Hi band parents and students. Uh, I just wanted to make this quick video to uh, give you some guidance as far as how to practice your instrument at home. Um, because, you know, not everybody knows how to practice at home in a way that's going to get them good results. Uh, so just wanted to go over a couple things here. Um, number one, 20 to 30 minutes of playing time is enough. Um, I, I think more than that, especially in middle school, it, it's just not necessary, I, um, but I want to stress playing time. So that's not 20 minutes including getting your instrument together and turning on your computer and checking your phone and checking your phone again or whatever. I mean 20 to 30 minutes of playing the instrument, okay? And speaking of the phone, put the phone in airplane mode. Um, learning to play an instrument, learning how to read music, at the same time requires a lot of concentration um, and I, I really recommend eliminating distractions. Um, what should you practice? Well, um, practice uh, beginners uh, haven't, haven't gotten into the fundamentals pages yet, but uh, practice the, um, the stuff from the method book on, on my website. Practice uh, fundamentals pages if we're up to that point yet uh, in sixth grade or seventh grade and eighth grade have fundamentals that we use every day. Um, practice anything that we're learning for our concert. And then um, practice music that, that you maybe you found on the internet that you want to learn. I had a student come up to me yesterday and, and tell me about some uh, music they found from their favorite video game online and they're learning how to play it. I think that's, I think that's awesome. Um, go for it. Do it. Uh, make it yours. That's what this is all about. Um, okay, so as far as strategies here, the number one strategy, slow down. Okay? If something is difficult, trying to play it at full speed is how to fail. That's not going to work. Um, what I tell the kids in class is you can play anything if you just slow it down enough. Right? You could play... You could play a, a Brandenburg Concerto by Bach if you just slowed it down enough. Um, so to learn something, uh, especially something difficult, play it slowly and correctly five times in a row. Um, slowly and correctly. So if we if we make mistakes, we got to that doesn't count. And if you make mistakes, what do you do? Slow it down even more. Okay. Uh, if you're making mistakes, you're going too fast. So. What does that mean? Well, let's say I'm learning Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, okay? Okay, and I'm a beginner, I can't play it that fast. So what I might do is slow it down like this. If I'm still making mistakes, slow it down even more. Let's see, that was slow and correct, right? I was, I was keeping a steady beat. The notes were correct. Um, now, if, if you're, sometimes what happens is, is um, going from one note to another note, we're making mistakes because the fingerings are, are awkward on your instrument. One of the things you can do is like hold each note out for three or four seconds, okay? So if going from to if that's awkward um, it's more awkward on a, on a flute for example because it's got so many buttons um, then you know if if that's in your music well don't go that fast go back and forth between those notes that slowly to give your brain time to say oh this is what it feels like to go from this note to this note um, it's really important to understand what's happening here we're, we're developing muscle memory it's not just do you know how to do it this is not math class okay it's math class plus muscle memory knowing how to do it is great but your but your muscles have to actually feel it, right? It's like learning how to throw a spiral football or learning how to hit a baseball. 
I can explain it to you all day long, and maybe you could even explain it to me, but that doesn't mean you can do it, right? Because it's muscle memory too. Um, so knowing how to do it doesn't mean that you're there. We, uh, we gotta slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Um, in a difficult place, just play a few notes at a time. Um, if, um, like for example, Mary Had a Little Lamb, the part that most people, the first song we learned is Mary Had a Little Lamb, and the part that most people have trouble with is the last two measures. Where you go. I say yeah. That part. Because you got to go up and then back down. If that's the part you're having trouble with, don't start on measure one. Just start right there. If you're having trouble with measure seven, don't start on measure one. And again, what uh, play only a few notes at a time. Stop. Okay. If what I'm if what I'm struggling with is. One, two, three, four, five, six. Don't play all six notes. Start with just the first three. Stop. Again. Okay, again. If I can do that five times, then I've got it, so I'm going to add another note. Do it again. And if I'm having trouble with that with that fourth and fifth note, I'm sorry, the third and fourth note, those two notes, if I'm if I keep going, wrong note, then just start there. Don't start at the beginning of the measure. Go. If you, if you clam a note, if you make a mistake going for a note, the problem usually exists in the note that came before it. Okay, if you, uh, if, I'm gonna say it again. If you clam a note, it's probably because of the note before it and going between those two notes is the problem, okay? You can play all your notes. The problem is going from this note to this note, right? So find the note that, that, that you're messing up, you know, what, what note are you playing wrong? Where's the note before it? Go back and forth between those notes, okay? I didn't exactly put that up here, but um, yeah. Uh, okay, what else? Uh, check your notes with, uh, you use technology. Um, check your notes with the Bandmate Chromatic Tuner app. Now this is only out for Apple devices, like an iPhone or an iPad. But this is a tuner app and it's free. It's called Bandmate Chromatic Tuner. And it shows you what note you're playing. So if I know, uh, for example, that Mary had a little lamb lick, if I, if it goes D, D, E, D, C. Am I playing the E, E, D? Let's see. I'm sorry, a D, a D, right? It's actually showing, I don't know if you can see this in the video, it might be too bright. Um, let me turn the brightness down. Um, it's actually showing you the note on the staff. There, you can see it better now. Okay. And that way kids can actually see if they're playing the right note. So let's play a wrong note. That last note is supposed to be C. Let's see. So that was a wrong note, so I can actually see if I'm playing the right note. That's huge, because otherwise when kids are practicing at home, how do they know? Um, other strategies, i got to go quick because your kids are coming in the door here. Um, say the rhythms out loud, say the note names out loud, sing it. These are things that we do in class that help. Uh, guys, remember your technique, all right? Posture, embouchure, breathing. If you're, if you're practicing at home and you're slouching, 
then you're practicing slouching. That's no good. Okay. Remember all your, all your all your good stuff. How are we holding our mouth? How are we breathing? Everything that we work on in class. And does it sound good to you? Okay. If you're playing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and it's well, if that doesn't sound good, then try to understand why doesn't it sound good. What am I doing with my body that's making it sound like that? And again, go back to the posture, your embouchure, your technique. Your embouchure is like how you hold your mouth while you play. What am I doing here? What am I doing with my breathing? What am I doing with my posture that's making it sound like that? Um, and, you know, how does it make you feel? Like, when, when you play the song, how does it make you feel? Is that is that how we want to make you feel? Um, this is art, right? We're, we're showing our feelings through our through sound. Um, so, hope this is helpful. I get a scoot because the kids are coming in the door. All right, good luck. Go and remember, I'm, I'm here to help you, okay? So if there's any way I can help you like after school or, or if you have questions for me, shoot me an email or whatever. I, I want to help you, okay? But I don't know if you need help unless you come to me and ask for it, okay? All right, have fun, go practice.